now I'm happy, right? Because guess what showed up in the mail today? Yes! So, sister, mother, warrior. And it is a historical fiction based on the true story. Lucy based on, I'm sure. She, she had to put some fiction because there's so much unknown. Of two women who were considered the first empress of Haiti. Uh, one was a warrior who was betrayed and sold into slavery and she ended up in Haiti. And one was a free woman who was uh, believed to be involved with uh, Jean Jack Dessalin. Dessalin. He is, of course, a general that helped get Haiti their freedom. So it is a going to be a juicy tale, an important tale, and I'm going to be one of those people which I do every time I read historical fiction, especially if it's loosely based on a true story, do my research and learn as much as I can that is known about the individuals in this story. So I dropped everything. So anything I was reading was will be picked up later because I plan on spending the next few days. How long is this book? <laughs> Oh, she got, oh, she got a lot of stuff in the back. Historical, okay. The author note is long, long. Oh, she did her research on this one. I can, I love author who are dedicated to Caribbean historical fiction. I love it. Um, so this is 449 pages. And look at them guys, it has all these flower um, on each and yeah I am going to dig in oh has a map Dahomey so you know that's the infamous warrior you guys seen the trailer for um, King? King, the yeah, I know this trailer. I, I, <laughs> I, I keep forgetting what the actual name of it is. With um, Viola Davis. Um, wow, look at this. It has prophecies. So there's little things before. Is it before every chapter? might be so I'm excited this is my most anticipated book um, so I have high hopes for this book I have high hopes because number one it is loosely based on true story so I am going to enjoy this digging into Haiti Caribbean yes we continue reading some Caribbean and uh, yeah and I'm going to be on the treadmill for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and start getting into this book. So, hello, new week, new vlogging week. Um, also, I have my video that's supposed to come out in an hour for uh, You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty. Um, I'm curious to see people's reaction. I'm curious. <laughs> but... If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. It's already going to be out way before this one comes out. Um, but my honest, my honest, my honest review of that damn book. All right.
So guys, this book, this book, OMG, OMG, it's really good, it's really good. I like how she introduced uh, Jean Jack, um, the betrayal situation was such a sad but kind of like telling of how people thought and did slavery in those days and the sad reality of things that you sometimes don't like thinking about but happened. Also what I liked about this is um, she kept it so far honest in terms of Dahame women and I hope that movie kept keep it real too because often being a warrior wasn't a choice and they were wives of different kind so basically they belonged to the king they were promised to the king so these are all women that belonged to the king meaning there's no outside situation of finding a mate the, the, the king is your your who you <laughs> are given to that kind of deal and how also he was notorious for being a part of the slave trade he had the ugly side the ugly side so i like how much of this um is basically she's the author is not shying away from and the reality of certain things that happen um and what i also like is how the two women are different but very important you have the um mom marie claire who is um born in freedom she was um a free slave but she's also a darker skin so she's always um risk at risk of being um thought of as a slave because of the fact that she's darker even though she's free so there's that issues that she's dealing with she's also seen the privilege that she has in terms of her aunt and her mom who are much lighter skin and the kind of uh, privilege that they have that she doesn't really have because immediately her skin tone is, is treated differently and also how them they're they're that protection because they have it easier they're not willing to give up the kind of easier life that they have um in 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 the name of freedom <laughs> so um that part of this so i am enjoying historical content of this i'm enjoying the rawness the author is given in this um it is it it's not giving me where i'm 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 depressed about what's happening you know like some books are where this topic can be very um heavy to read and you kind of can't get into it it's not giving me that so you definitely won't feel that way but it is harsh it is um you know brutal i love toy she um she is um a warrior that is still learning of her, her decisions and still going through the motions and at frustrated at time her loyalty is very frustrating at time but I do love the fact that she is um, a medicine woman as well and know how to to take care of her people y'all I am on page I uh, just 131 it seems me I would say something about the writing style it's not hard there are some French Creole that's in the mix but she she did it in a way where she'll tell you what it means in the actual um, sentence, so you don't have to like try to go to go in the back. I don't think she has a glossary. Um, she might. You don't have to really go in the back. Um, I don't think so to really know what it means because it's 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 in there. I just wish I knew how to read it. <laughs> the, the the French part, um, the Creole. French part or the language of the Dahame, because that's in there as well. Um, but um, 
I think I like that she did that. She she makes it in there so me so all your French people and my you know this won't be a big deal for. Her. But I do like that part. All right, so I went and got this. This is the only thing I bought from Amazon Prime, guys. I literally bought it yesterday. Today's still Amazon Prime, but by the time you see this video, it's done. Um, and it wasn't that much off. I think the discount on this was not that much, like maybe 15% or something. I think some of the some of them range up there. You could get some for that was like 50% off things. or, But this one wasn't, and I'm already scratching it up. But I like the old look anyway. Oh, it disappears. I like this uh, leather cover. So I wanted to put in, again, you guys know, on the 30th, um, that I am doing a workshop in Brooklyn. It's at the Brooklyn Art uh, Center in Best Best Eye, I'm sorry, Best Eye Art Center. Um, it's on St. Louis. Uh, St. Louis. Um, I've never been there, but that is where... I will be having a workshop so if you want to do the workshop with me sign up go on um, information is here but I'll put the information in the description and um, the class the class is a fee it's like $20 um, but you get everything provided to you you get a goodie bag with everything as far as a journal pen other little things that from the the event um, my event is from 2 to 4, so it's 2 hours you will be with me. If you don't want to do the class, still come out, still come to the the, um, the event. There's way more vendors that will be there and little things you could get into. And you can still come and meet me. So if you're in Brooklyn on the 30th of July, let me know and I would love to meet you. So I bought this cover because I'm putting all my uh, journal in. Uh, books in here and um, and it would be easy for me to travel with easy for me to have all of it in the same uh, all right so we're gonna give you the rundown so far this one was a fail as far as fountain pen so this one was a dot grid one that I showed you guys in the in a previous video um, where I did my uh, my journal collection note and notebook um, so, so this is not a good fit as far as that regular pen but no like literally <clears throat> All the ones that I use, they all bled. Every single one of them uh, bled. So this was a, a complete fail. The best one was this one, which I just did a collage for the cover. Uh, the cover looks like this when it when you buy it. It's very plain. Um, but I did a collage. I'm not quite finished with the cover. Now this one can handle. A lot I did a lot in the back and absolutely none of them bleed um, none of them bleed um, the stamp which if you press too hard which is every paper you might have an issue but for the most part I use all the pens and none of them bleed so that one was good and then of course this one is good um, but this one's gonna be nice in terms of if you are really into art so I started doing some layout as far as the, the pages and I'm going to start adding more and then start writing little things, quotes, poetry, little things in them that I can show and do videos that I will probably incorporate in future videos. So <clears throat> I like this, like I said, I like that it has pocket, uh, you know, flap, it has a pen holder spot and the pen holder spot is pretty big so it will fit any pen like I literally have a lot of room for this pen um, so I know it will fit my fountain pen with no problem because this is it's chunky so I like it and then of course I had I always have charms and I added the two charms in the front so and I love it I love it love it love it love it um, this is gonna be a nice traveling situation and um so that's my two leather this is the one that i'm currently using gated leather this is a much expensive cover way more expensive than this so i will link this 
in the description if any of you are looking for a nice the reviews on this was amazing so that's another reason why I picked it and just feeling it it feels really nice um, and it's 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 really nice it's really nice I definitely um, it's the, the stitching on it was really good there's no um, flaws that I see um, it's well made so inexpensive compared to this like I could probably get <laughs> three of these <laughs> for the price of this um, but again you know this is this is scaly leather this is the cream of the crop this will last you forever um, and I've had this for a year and a half now so and so I'm gonna do my journal of the day right now um, Yeah. guys so I'm out here and it is the weather is nice but mosquitoes are, are trying me today but I'm going to uh, talk about this book and I'm trying to find the quote so I can show you the difference between these two women in explanation of this all right so this book really gives you an insight of the Haitian revolution the journey it took them to, to get freedom this wasn't a one or two year situation this was we're talking I think this was over 12 years something like that but actually longer than that because there was other wars going on and leading up to theirs so it, 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 it was quite a, it was a few decades of constant war on, and no peace. And the women were always there. And women played a major role. And that goes to every revolution if you think about it. Women always played a major role. And you have two women for different things. 
you have Marie, uh, Marie Claire and Marie Claire was a born free she comes from what she would be what you call the mulattoes and they had certain privilege and they were the first to really demand justice um, certain kind of um, rights because although they were free there were still limits on them and they were the first to get it then eventually France the leader at the time just decided to free them then the, there was all hell break loose on that end and you have Napoleon you know that kind of history and so we have now soldiers uh, slaves that were being trained to be soldiers and also being trained as well by this woman here who is uh, a Dahomey warrior so she is training them to fight she's trained them from a very young age so this is where her influence comes in the story she is both are real characters that are real life people that were true there's information on them you can literally go look it up um, she Mary um, Claire lived over a hundred years old yeah and she also have more known for her because she was directly from Africa so there's a lot about her even her name um, they call her Toya but she was um, Abariah Abariah um, is her African name and in this story you see the difference in their views on the war on the suffering on the things that's happening so many people died many people died many people suffered and, and starved and you know women and children are uh, were, were starving and, and struggling to, to to survive while the men were out there um, you know brut the brutality of war now what you have now is how they view each other in the war and not necessarily in the war but how they view each other's struggles as women so we have Mary Claire so there's a little it's what I'm gonna read and it says this woman complimented me with our conditions not pretty for a black girl it wasn't rewarded it wasn't it wasn't a reward for showing my strength but something to honor my weakness I can be weak and beautiful and black. Holding the ribbons high, I run to the battery. It catches air and sails behind me like the string of a kite. It looks free. I'm free. I must remember I'm not ashamed. I've been forgiven. I forgave myself. I'll not live in the shadow of another's ignorance. I won't apologize for my life my family, my children, my choices. I'm free. Confident and energized, I walk home ready to serve my way. That's my miracle, me. That's how she takes it because of her, the benefits and the privilege she had as born free. This is the warrior woman explaining what she is. <laughs> Her hands are too clean for the work that needs to be done. She won't understand. One who's never worn shackles will never understand. This is the difference of how they view fighting in this book. One has this higher morality of people are dying. They should just stop, but not really realizing they can't stop because they no longer want to get back in shackles. This is what France wanted to them to go back to being slave. They are not willing to do that. So they are going to fight no matter how brutal, no matter how hard wrenching the situation is because they will rather die than be slave. She doesn't understand that because she was never a slave. And this is where Abarai told her, told someone else that whole situation and you see that in this but you understand because as human being you should feel a certain way about people being killed or people being killed by your hands that kind of deal and how they were stripped away from certain things in the name of being free and 
the sacrifice and the ugly side of war is never pretty. It's never going to be pretty. But if you no longer want to live as a slave, it came with that kind of sacrifice. So you have to think about what these people had to do to get freedom. And it wasn't pretty, it was ugly, but they got freedom. At the end of the day, freedom of their children, the generation to come after them, was more important than that moment That for that. For her as well, when you think of Mary uh, Claire, Marie Claire, she lived past 100. So I would think of time goes by, she would see why it was important because of who benefited after. Um, and uh, But at the same time, this is a hurt woman. This is a woman whose heart was entangled with this. And she struggled with that with a, a husband who had discretion, discretion but also a, a hero with flaws um, and where all the men in this had flaws and there's a part of it there's I can't remember what chapter it was where Abaraya was talking about what she did to protect her king and she protected the king no matter how um, wrong he was and it I, I wish I could find that that particular chapter where she talks about it at the end and uh, I can't remember but it's, it's such a I love that part where she talks because in this you get the conflict she had because she played a role in some of these people's um, ultimately becoming slaves when she is protecting a, a king that was a part of the slave trade who literally was sent away slave and but it's it's she 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 had to acknowledge that part and um i can't remember i really wish i could find that chapter i read on these stick tab things when i was um Oh yeah, there it go. Um, she said, um, I knew this mother, this warrior, with a heart for the people, would keep a promise to support the king even when he did wrong. So that shows the loyalty that she had for that king. And uh, she protected him, but she also created a hero because she influenced um, Jinja. Um, she was the one who groomed him. He could, he called her auntie. So in the history books, they, they're not sure how they're related. In this book, I like how she created how they were related. Um, but in real life, um, the, all they said is he called her auntie. So um, you see that in this, and you think of like, when I think of the movie that's coming out soon, I, I really hope that they keep some things realistic because um, that king played a part and how these warriors um, played a part as well and didn't really realize what was happening on the other side. They didn't travel. They didn't go and see how these slaves were being treated and the, kind, the condition they were living or even if some of them even made it to land. Um, they didn't know all of that, but their custom was, you know, what, what it is. And there are the brutality of people, that king was killing people as well. So th there's some, there's enough responsibility to go around of people who created this thing called the slave trade. And it was ugly. So what I would say is, this is the kind of book that will make you go beyond the pages. For me as well for us watching documentaries reading articles and getting to know people who are haitian who have um experience and in, in things that they can talk about so read this take it as what it is it's a very very deep historical fiction 
and I think um, you would really appreciate it if you read it. Um, I really like the fact that she's keep doing this. She keep writing these historical fiction of the Caribbean, of real life people from the Caribbean, and tell their stories, but tell it in a way that make them human, flaws and all. This Island Queen was my first woman, and then this, and they both, all the women in this have flaws. They are not perfect women, but that's what makes them human as well. So you get to see what makes them a hero, but then you get to see the things that they did that are, um, that are part of them that was wrong, but still it is what it is kind of deal. Um, so yeah, pick it up. And if you are Haitian and you read this, I would love to hear your thoughts on how she handled this story. Um, I'm very curious for my Haitian people to let me know how they feel about this story. This is their history summed up in 430 pages um, that highlight two very different but very strong black women. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.